योर क्वेश्चन इज द पाथ ऑफ पैराबोला इज गिवन बाई वाई इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर्टी नाइन बाई नाइन थाउजेंड एक्स स्क्वायर वेर एक्स एंड वाई आर द मेजर्स इन मीटर्स नाउ दे हैव टोल्ड अस टू फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ द पैराबोला दैट मीन्स दिस फुल रेंज हाउ मच इट कवर्स सेकेंड इज फाइंड द मैक्सिमम हाइट रीच बाय द पैराबोला दैट मीन्स दिस वन That means we have to find out what maximum height. That means vertex. We will find out here vertex. That means suppose this is your vertex, this point. This point vertex means it contains a. x center and the y maximum height x center and the y maximum height so what we will do just we will try to solve and find out our vertex coordinates how we will find out here you can see they have given like that just but we will write it in standard form so our standard form comes from here so it will give us minus 49 by 9000 x square plus root 3 x now we will make it as zero that is equal to zero why means we want the coordinates take minus 49 by 9000 as common we will take minus 49 by 9000 as common so what is left here only x square here minus we have taken out that means here it will come as minus now minus root 3 and divide by this that means 49 will come here and 9000 will go up into 9000 and x is there. That is equal to zero now. Now we can see in a bracket x square minus something is there, minus sign is there. That means we have to make it as a minus b whole square. Now we will write like this: minus forty nine by nine thousand. We will take big bracket and small bracket. We will write it as a minus b whole square. Minus b square. Bracket closed. That is equal to zero now. Now we will find out the value of our a and b. In a minus b whole square, a square is there. So just compare it. A square is equal to x square. A square is equal to x square. That means a is your x. In that minus two ab is also there. That is equal to minus this value. That we will write minus two ab. That is equal to minus nine thousand root three by forty nine x. Now we know that minus and minus gone. A and x gone. We get b is equal to nine thousand root three by forty nine into two. If you cut this two to this, what we will get? We will get four five double zero root three by forty nine. Now we will substitute a and b is here. What we will get? We get minus forty nine by nine thousand. Then bracket here it will be x minus this value. That is four five double zero root three by forty nine whole square minus b square. B square is what? Just we will write two times. Four nine double zero 
into four nine double zero sorry four five and here also four five double zero and root three into root three is three into three by forty nine into forty nine that gives you zero now hmm? this is in bracket now we will open the bracket now multiply this by this what you will get we get minus 49 by 9000 into x minus 4500 root 3 by 49 and whole square now minus into minus is plus now plus now Multiply this into this. <coughs> we get 4500 into 4500 into 3 into 49 by here it is 9000 into 49 into 49. Now we will cut. This is equal to 0. Now we will cut it. 49 and 49 gone. This 1 and this is 2 times. Now we will cut this and this. We will get how much here? Just we will write here. How much? 2, then 2, then 5 and 0 into 3 by 49. That gives you 0. And remaining is like this only. This same. Now, if we find the vertex, that means symmetry. Symmetry of that. How we will find out? Just up to here we will see whatever value they have given as x. That is the coordinate of x here. That means we will take this is equal to 0. So what we will get? We get x minus 4, 5, 0, 0, root 3 by 49 is equal to 0. So what is our x? x is equal to we can say it will come to this side and it will be 4, 5, 0, 0, root 3 by 49. This is the symmetry coordinate and we know that this point is in the middle of the range. That means the range should be multiplied by 2. This vertex, this coordinate should be multiplied by 2, then we will get our range. So if you multiply by 2, 4500 will become your 9000. Now the range is 9000 root 3 by 49 meters and the vertex of y y coordinate is what this value what is that just multiply it so that is your 0 0 then 15 1 carry 7 6 by 49 meters. So this is the maximum height taken by the parabola. That means your answer should be in the second case is 6 7 5 0 by 49 meters. Like this we have to find out.